Okay, folks, welcome back. Welcome to FX Beethoven Forex Argo Decode. My name is JD. Uh, today, I want to talk about uh, manipulation, folks. And um, of course, uh, we are going to talk about how to identify direction bias using manipulation as we did it before. But I will be answering a question uh, someone asked me on Twitter uh, why? A form like this can happen where you can see a manipulation forming and price still price still takes another direction so today I will try to give um, reason uh, maybe there will be no practical use of it I mean uh, I will not be offering practical use of it in this video uh, because uh, it requires uh, another level of understanding uh, but at least you understand that uh, if manipulation fails there is always a reason hope you understand so uh, on my side I never say manipulation fails uh, that I simply say this was not intended direction this was not intended direction direction was not to drive price higher intention was to drive price down so if this happens there is another message and you have to know it before it happens yes there is a way to know that so yeah we talked about um, our manipulation uh, this is activity manipulation or activity a few if I can say so here uh, see as long as you see this type of manipulation uh, expect that another candle that's going to come uh, I don't care whether it is one minute candle whether you are selling a uh, one minute time frame five minute time frame one hour four hour one week one day one month or 12 months maybe six months whatever you choose as long as you study one candle to another understand that this is going to happen this is going to happen this is a promise right? it's going to happen whenever you see a manipulation there is certain move you are going to see and if for example uh, if for example this was a placement immediately this high becomes a liquidity to target a liquidity to target very easily for example if you have if you've been in a trend if price was making a, a strong trend to the upside and there is retracement and you see something like this this is the best place to join a trend so how do you join that you join as this low forms entry as the forms guys you understand you understand right here so your entry should be here after spotting a true direction of your market your entry should be on this week so if this is a monthly candle so it will take like maybe one week to form this week one week to form a week English is amazing so you get the point it will take one week to form a, this this low or it may even take two days to depend on the momentum you see on your chart so here a simple example is only gold I was telling you we have activity manipulation on monthly time frame but only weekly can negate that move only weekly time frame can it tell us whether institutions are ready to go higher or are ready to go down and not only that there must be supporting evidence that's why you may see uh, you may see for example in my chart you may see a color like this for example you may see a color like this something I marked we have something we have to look for in the market and you want to see if market is gonna do what is market is gonna add more orders on that level and we can only spot that using what using 
a little bit lower time frame for example if you are on weekly sorry if you are on monthly time frame you can easily use what you can easily use weekly time frame to support that if you are weekly you can use daily if you are daily you can use it for hour you understand what i mean you will dig your own hair when you try to immediately jump to lower time frame without having what without having an idea of what is going on i'm designing um i'm designing uh, animation it will be for premium student not for the public uh but uh it will explain it better so that uh, you everyone can clearly understand what you have to look for before even this happens you have anticipation that negation is going to happen here that's why you saw me telling you on gu on telegram i was telling you this is the area negation forms and you have you have seen it folks it happened right so that's it that's it you have to you have to know a zone market is going to touch and you you do what you wait to see you use it to be through a time frame to detect a move and you enter as it forms hope you get an idea so if you see this happening don't try to say this concept doesn't work no there is a reason there are more we are not talking about here the more stuff we are not talking about here on in the public but there is always a reason there is always a reason Yes, that's why I told you negation is likely to form here and you saw it happening on G. That's why I told you on, on gold negation weekly is we have only have a weekly time frame that will tell us where negation is going to form. I was there, I was telling you folks here on a, on a, on a, on a GU on GU, on GU weekly time frame, I was telling you uh, we have what we have attempted manipulation to the downside, to the upside. Sorry, attempted, attempted manipulation to to the downside. As you can see here, so means the next candle that's gonna happen is that, that that's gonna open here is supposed to be bullish. Is supposed to be bullish so what, what we mean by this what do we mean by this we simply mean after this manipulation we are anticipating a certain buy a certain movement to to the upside so for example from the close of this candle you can easily see we have what you have a beautiful buy all the way to the last area of liquidity or the way to the last area of our liquidity or liquidity level right here you can see this was a buy this is this is a big move if you have to do what if you have to to separate these two candlesticks using vertical lines here it is a video I raised back in the days years ago talk about how you can use the vertical lines to trade the market don't don't forget that go and use it we, we will need it very very often so we are on weekly time frame if you go for example let's say to one hour to one hour if you go to one hour you can see this is the candle that manipulated and it closed where it closed here this was this was the close here and a new one opened here so we expect a new candle to be bullish that's why you have a bullish move that's why you have a bullish move here a bullish move and it reached what it reached the, our area of of what of ma of manipulation right so i mean um that's the area of liquidity then that's why you have what you have a big drop going down here you have a big drop going down 
negating this previous move. You see that? After this negation, there is a buy here. It can, it can be maintained or it can be negated, right? But expect that there is always a move. No matter how small it is, but it's always there. Right? You get the point. Now here, if you go back to weekly, if you go back to weekly time frame, if we go back to weekly time frame, you can you can easily see after this candle, we've got what we've got a clear negation to the downside. A clear negation to the downside. A clear negation to the downside. This move is, is manipulating what? Is manipulating this candle. Meaning this candle is always the target immediately. This becomes a liquidity, a liquidity to target. This becomes a liquidity to target. Hope you understand. Until until listen to me folks until until this candle is negated we have to target this one you get the point until because you can have multiple negation going on hope you saw it on on this level i mean on euro usd you saw it i will show you multiple negation that we are going on right so until this candle is negated for example on monday on Monday, you may have another candle trading lower and respect the low and then negate. For example, something like this, like this box. This is a true negation. A true negation, let's say a true negation forms here. A true negation forms here. Let's say you have something like this, a true negation forms here. You have a true negation forming on this level. Once you see this, once you see this, understand that institutions are respecting what? This is attempt a few, this is attempt manipulation, right? So to target the other side. I hope now you understand the point. You understand the point this time this time you will be targeting the other side as long as you see a negation right and you keep repeating that this market can even reach like this level repeating the same consolidating consolidating and you are still trading because you understand you understand the game you understand the game of manipulation the same on the same on uh, on gold the same on gold here you have gold on this level so we were talking on monthly time frame here you remember so we have what we have we have attempted manipulation to the to the downside to the downside see so manipulating or so we, we anticipate what the next candle is gonna give us a trend to the downside we want to sail all the way down to target what to target the low first of all this low as the a liquidity to target because you understand after this a quick negation forms you see that meaning the next candle after this negation, after this negation, the next candle is supposed to do what? It's supposed to be bullish. So someone asks, so why do some manipulation fails? They don't fail. They don't fail. So this was not a manipulation. Of course, we can say we manipulate the law, reject it. But where, where are we? On, on, on the map. We are already on the map. Here, you can see we are, in, we are in a zone of what? A zone of manipulation. They are going to add more orders to sail all the way down. 
to sail all the way down. We know to go deep into this. But smart people will immediately understand what we mean. Look at the zone, right? They understand what we mean. So they are in their zone, right? Are they going to add more orders? I mean sell orders or are they going to decrease sale orders, right? You understand the point? So if you go to commitment of traders, for example, I don't use it very often. You will see that they are adding more sales, for example, than buys. Than, than, than they are adding sale positions than long more than long positions. You get the point, right? So here I was telling you folks, only the weekly time frame will prove that. Only the weekly time frame will prove that. So on weekly time frame, after change that level, you can see a clear rejection, another manipulation to the upside, a negation through direction, a bearish in our zone of manipulation. In our zone of manipulation. So you get the point. You get the idea why a certain, a certain move you see, you may think it is a failing, you know it is a failing. It's a retest. They are testing their zone to add more orders. So this negation here will force price to go higher to take first of all this high as liquidity. As I'm done saying. So you are supposed to look for what? To anticipate a negation after grabbing this liquidity. After grabbing this liquidity, and then you sell all the way to the downside. Hope you understand, you, you understand, you get the idea. So here, let me show something on three month time frame to understand what I mean. So with this true manipulation, attempting to manipulate price to the downside, as you can see here, on this candle, price dropped here. After a clear test here, price dropped. Then you have what? We have another manipulation going on, guys. Here. This manipulation going on. So this is manipulating the low. Meaning the target is what? The target is to take this liquidity resting here. The high of this candle. Liquidity resting on this level. As you can see. It's going to be you buy the liquidity to, to target. Okay, the point. So we anticipate any any negation we can expect must be expected when we are done taking this high. For example, you may have you may have a candle forming like this. You see, price trade higher, and you see a candle forming like this. I'm drawing, guys. Don't think there is a week. I'm just drawing it to show you an example. I'm drawing here. Yeah? We don't have a candle. The candle is still moving, as you can see. So I'm drawing. So price trade higher and reject. You see, this is what we call a self negation. It is negating the first move to create the here. You get the point. The target is what? First of all, here and then here to downside. If you go to our time frame, you immediately see it. And immediately see why I say this low and this low if you follow this video carefully. So hope you get the idea. So there are a lot to talk about. There are a lot to talk about uh, in case you want to understand this. It may take hours. So uh, make sure you subscribe. We we'll keep talking uh, about this. Or if you want to, to join us, guys, you can join us and we study. The link is down, down, down below uh, in the video description. You can click and follow us, guys, on Telegram. Uh, also on Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter. I put all of those links there. You can follow us in case you want to understand more about this concept. So it's not the highest spot direction. As long as you understand what you're doing and uh, understanding, uh, for example, let me show you. If you are trading, if 
you are trading, you see this chart you have here. So if you saw my post, there was a line. So there was a reason market has to stop here. There is a reason. You cannot see it here, but me I can see it, right? There is if I ask you why do we have this this return to move? This one. This is money, right? This is money. Remember, you took a trade here, you remember? This is a money. So why do we have it? Why market has to, to, to drop it to beat it down and then it can't seem to go higher? During I guess the London session. The New York session. So why price has to do that? New York session. Why? Can you guess that? Of course, this is the POI. For those who attended our liquidity unit in liquidity investment bootcamp, they remember POI. So, but why do we have this type of move? Why do we have this drop going on? So it's the same thing. Let me make you remember, okay, this area is the last area of the on this time frame on this new session this is the last area i can anticipate a reversal or a negation you get the point you get the point so you start from higher time frame all the way to one minute time frame because you need to use that five pips six pips of stop loss on gold or, on, or any other pair you like if you get the point you read USD same trade we took same trade we took on Euro USD wait all those colors it has a meaning guys as I always say it's not support and resistance it's something else Let's say here, our entry, our entry was here to catch this big drop. You understand? As I was telling you, folks, after this break, after this break here, the cycle was over. We are going to, I mean here, the cycle was already. I mean we are here. After this break, the cycle was over. The rest was a distribution going on. The distribution going on but we always have what you have a point you are going to target and you anticipate the reversal and expecting a reversal doesn't mean you want to catch the high you can wait and enter at the right level there's certainly a way to wait market to come to test it and then it falls down on the one hour time frame On one hour time frame, on one hour time frame, manipulation was clear. Manipulation was clear. Here, as you can see. Here, manipulation was clear. Price trade higher, reaching our zone, then we have a what? We have a negation forming. On this area breaking the low orders are here institutions are are joining the move right here they are here you need what a push a retest and you have to enter as it forms here in this level you enter as it forms in this level you get the point and then it's gonna be your sale opportunity. It's gonna be your sale opportunity. It's true stop on your manipulation level. Like one peep above it. True stop. You see, it was one quit five peep. You can even make two peeps like this. Right? Two peeps of stop loss because you understand what you are doing. Then 
a drop and then a negation is coming in immediately this is how you become a liquidity but you do not have to do it to you have to keep your your stock you see it becomes again a liquidity because of what because of this negation you see down there i told you as long as it is negated the other side is likely to be a liquidity you get the point i'm done saying that everywhere everywhere you're going to see that and then you have what you have your big drop you have your big drop to the downside you have your big drop to the downside to target your next zone your next zone you get the point fox this is it this is it this is it fox you have liquid to target right here this is it you have to go out here right here in our zone you have another zone here right so you get the point fox this is how you have to do it this is how you have to approach price action using only what using manipulation make sure you follow me on twitter follow me on twitter it's in your benefit guys show me on a telegram it's your benefit we are learning we are growing right you get the point every single day as a trader make sure you're developing make sure you're learning Until next time, guys. Good luck and good trading.